My name is Holger Stockey. I'm the Vice President International Sales of Stoff International. Uh, we're the brand leader for commercial armored vehicles, uh, especially Toyota Land Cruiser, Nissan Patrol and the like. Uh, we're really excited about this uh, collaboration with Company Group, especially for the Black Wolf and the Thunder 2, because this is uh, so far not our line of business, but we have a growing demand from clients for tactical vehicles, tactical trucks. Uh, and we met already two years ago in the Middle East. Uh, we were in discussions all the time and we're excited again uh, that we have now an exclusive collaboration to distribute and market uh, these vehicles in Europe. and other markets where we have already a strong footprint. If you look at the current procurement projects of European uh, organizations and governments, it's exactly the type of vehicle those clients are looking for. Of course, sometimes also discrete armored vehicles like the Land Cruiser, but when it comes to tactical and approach of target uh, sized vehicles where you need to deploy more personnel, then you need a tactical truck. And uh, this is uh, from, from all the rising threats, exactly the vehicle what we think and from the discussions that clients are looking for. Uh, this Toyota Land Cruiser features the world's highest tested and physically tested and certified uh, ballistic and blast protection levels. In terms of ballistic protection, we're talking about VR9 certification, means the vehicle has undergone a physical destruction test with more, almost 400 rounds of 762, uh, 39 AP and 556-45 AP caliber, having shot all over the vehicle, tested by two accredited German authorities, which are called the Beschussamt or IABG. It includes the entire vehicle. There is a 360 degrees protection on the vehicle, starting from the front side fenders, the firewall, glasses, floor, roof, the back, the sides. So really 360 degree protection. It's very important to have this blast protection. And this vehicle features the highest, again, tested and certified, physically tested and certified blast protection level, which is called VPAM ERV 2010 consisting of an explosion blast of 15 kg of TNT or equivalent in 2 meter distance, um, DM31 anti-personal mines underneath the vehicle, hand grenades on top of the vehicle and last but not least, uh, very important uh, Starnak uh, 4569 level 2A protection which is 6 kg of TNT or equivalent underneath front tire. But this is our main product, but we also do the same on uh, Nissan Patrol because uh, from what we learn from our clients, they want to have a very low signature in their fields of deployment and the typical vehicle, uh, 8 out of 10 vehicles in countries like Afghanistan or the Middle East or in Africa is a Toyota Land Cruiser and you as the protective person uh, want to keep your signature as low as possible. So you drive a vehicle that is available in the market, which are usually Land Cruisers or the Nissan Patrol. But of course, we do other vehicles. Uh, we do the GMC models, we do G-Wagons. But again, this is the one that is uh, the, the highest protected in the world. We have a, a couple of European governments as exclusive clients, international organizations uh, like the United Nations, or other NGOs, uh, unfortunately we cannot always disclose for confidentiality reasons our clients, but both from police, military and civilian sector, but very important for us as a German company, we always follow international best practice in exportation of those vehicles. Only really eligible clients get our vehicles. So we always make sure that our vehicles are only deployed to, to eligible clients, uh, to the right customers. and I'm with Team Wendy. I'm the Director of Marketing Communications. So I'm here at Enforce TAC. Um, we make a full line of helmets, from bump helmets to search and rescue helmets to ballistic helmets and accessories that go along with them. What's so unique about our helmets? So in terms of our ballistic helmet, we make the, li the lightest proprietary ballistic helmet on the market. So what that means is we um, 
It's the full, our Exfil Ballistic SL, which is this helmet right here, is only a full system weight of 2.2 pounds, which is one kilo. So that includes the rails, the shroud, the, the liner, um, the Velcro, everything, except for some of these accessories that you see. So it is the lightest proprietary helmet on the market. This is our kind of newest product. We just released this at SHOT Show about a month ago. So we're here in Europe showing it for the first time uh, here in Europe. And we, yeah, we heard this from the people. They wanted be, to be able to have something that was full face protection. So we actually have two different versions. This is our all-terrain version, which meets ACH Blend Impact. So it's really a moto mandible. It's really good for riding an ATV, something like that. Um, whereas this one over here is our ballistic version. And it meets 3A, NIJ 3A. Uh, so depending what your needs are, we have both options. But we specifically went with, for our ballistic mandible, a soft mandible so that you can still cheek your weapon. Um, you're actually able to, you know, pull the visor up like this so it can go up and down. But then if you have something running like this G24 mount here from Wilcops where you would hold your NVGs, you can also just pull the visor straight off the front. So in terms of communication, um, you can run a communication headset either underneath the helmet, so inside the helmet, and that's possible because our comfort pads are adjustable, so you can move them around as needed if you need to be able to accommodate a headset. Or, of course, you can run something like a Peltor adapter, or this is an auto system here that we're showing um, on the outside of your helmet so that you don't have to worry about it underneath. But in terms of comfort, um, two things that we do a little differently than our competitors is we are kind of known, we really started kind of more in the pad set business. So our helmet pads are second to none in our opinion. Um, it really is kind of our bread and butter. Uh, and it is what makes our helmets so comfortable. So you have adjustable comfort pads, but then they also um, are engineered in such a way that they meet ACH blunt impact and can actually protect you from traumatic brain injury. My name is Eric Jepson. I'm the Director of Marketing and Sales for Aimpoint Worldwide. Uh, here at M4 Stack we are launching our newest site which is the Comp M5S. Uh, we have the Comp M5 normal site which has a high battery compartment and this time we are launching it with a low battery compartment. It is a customer preference on which height they would like to have the battery compartment. The S obscures less of the view for the operator than the normal Comp M5. And it has a AAA battery, runs for five years operational, is submersible down to 45 meters, has an extra protective lens in the front of the site. So it is a very tough, durable site. It's the same site as we had now signed a contract with the Swedish Armed Forces and the French Armed Forces. They're using the normal Comp M5, and this is now the next generation, which is Comp M5S. It's very important that we listen to the customer needs and today one of the requirements is weight. That's why the Comp M5 has a very low weight configuration and that means that you have less weight for the operator for the whole system that they're carrying. Main reason is the quality that we provide. We have a system that is very durable and we have extremely long battery lifetime on our systems. Game is a subsidiary company of Aimpoint, and Game is focused on digital tactical simulation software development. So we've built a virtual reality training facility, which we're running here today. Financially, it is uh, cost efficient. Uh, Security-wise, it allows people to train in dangerous or expensive uh, scenarios. Uh, without risk of injury or uh, the financial complications of uh, doing large-scale role plays. The scenario we're running here today, we, we're calling it uh, clearing rooms. So in this, uh, in this area here, 
the person enjoying the simulation is entering unknown territory. He's going into three different rooms where there are hostile people, there are civilians, and he needs to act in accordance with protocol in order to secure the room. So we've had a number of people doing it and uh, we have had a very positive reception. So what you see on this screen is what the person doing the simulation is seeing. Or rather, you're seeing a slice of what he's seeing, because for him it is a 360 degree simulation. And we also record all his movements. So movement of the head, how he's carrying his weapon, all that is tracked so we can have a full replay of everything that happened when he was practicing. The system is um, it's very cheap. This is an off-the-shelf Swift system called HTC Vive that we're using as the basis for our platform. So what you need is um, a, a powerful computer to run the simulation. Then you need uh, a headset, which is... Uh, you put that over your face. You have two high-speed wireless video streams, that one for each eye, which gives you a three-dimensional experience. And then in the room here that we've put together, you need to have uh, tracking stations in place. And uh, one of the things that we do which is special is that we custom design from actual uh, firearms uh, controllers that will allow you to shoot inside the game. So we track them and we can do safety switches and all sorts of things. And we also design custom scenarios for our clients. So you, you, everyone has a specific requirement. So we develop a scenario specifically for our clients. In this simulator that we're running here, you can be up to three collaborative players. That means that three individuals will be able to see and interact with one another in the same simulated environment. There is also a bigger brother to this system where we can have a larger area and up to five people in the same simulation.